So D Squad, it's your boy Austin D back in another video. I want to thank y'all, man, for the 900 subscribers. We getting there, B. We getting there. Keep, keep liking, sharing, subscribing to the video. And I keep making these things, all right? Today, I want to talk about a horrible experience. Horrible. When I say horrible, this was top five. Top five horrible. I always get asked, which one would you rather? Pepper spray or taste? 100% taste. 100%, without a question. Taste me. <laughs> I'd rather that any day. Listen, any day. Don't, we ain't got no pepper spray. Listen, I told everybody that I've ever worked with, all my big partners that I've had so far, if you pull this out, we fight. We're going to fight after the call. No, you didn't hear me. No, I said if you pulled this out, we're going to fight. Oh, yeah. Look, you can see how dusty mine is. Look at that. Can you see the dust? This has never been used before. Ever. I never... Hold on. <laughs> turn, turn the other way. <laughs> Let's read the first aid information on this container. For skin contact, remove contaminated clothing and wash skin with soap and cold water. Repeat if necessary. Do not rub or use creams, lotions, oils, or whatever. For eye contact, remove contacts. Flush with cold water for 15 minutes or longer. Expose skin and eyes to fresh air and get medical attention if necessary. You're gonna need it. You, you're gonna need medical attention. So, so here's the story. In our academy, like I said before, I went to a community college academy. So my department did not host their own. So for some reason, we didn't get pepper spray. Now, some of the people that go to different community colleges in the area and they do pepper spray you, mine did not. However, what that meant was once we got out of the academy, it's your department's responsibility to pepper spray you. It's mandatory. You gotta get pepper sprayed. Well, I don't know, <sighs> but it got to happen. All right. So what we did have to do in the academy though was go in a gas chamber. Oh my God. No mistake. We put on the little mask. You're, um, whatever. I'm blanking on the name, but you put it on. You go into the room, you go in with a partner. So my partner, we go in, you go in and let the, the smoke off. And then somebody will come in, obviously they're gonna come with a mask on. You have to break the seal off of your mask. And I believe you say your name and something, some other sentence they wanted you to say just for fun. And then you run out of the chamber. Oh my gosh. So I was I'm like, all right, the partner I got, all right, you're gonna go first, bro. He's like, all right. <laughs> Worst decision he could have ever made. Because I saw and I think it went off. I don't remember how it went off, but a shit ton of people went before me. And that's the last thing you need to let somebody like me see is people go before me and they panic. Because they panic, I'm going to panic. So I see all them panic. They get to my partner. He takes his off. He says his. He immediately starts coughing, right? Like he's like ready to go. He tries to run out. They stop him and say, hey, they got to get to me first. So they asked me to take mine off. I'm like, hold on. <laughs> I'm just like, hold on. And they're like, come on, let's get it done. Come on. I'm like, hold on. Hold on. I'm like, come on. And my partner's over there choking. I'm like, come on, bro, come on. And I'm just like, all right, I'm doing it for the team, bro. That is not something I want to ever experience again. It is no fun. It burns. It burns your eyes. Now, it's not worse than pepper. I don't. It's not worse than pepper spray going in there because, I mean, they're getting your system a little bit, but a few minutes, that's gone. The worst is the pepper spray. So fast forward, you finish the academy, you go to your police department, and they pepper spray you. Not only did they pepper spray you, but you have to go through a course. I believe the course was something like you get pepper sprayed, you run into a first person, First, you got their knee strikes. 
You run to a second person, you gotta use your baton and beat him with the baton. Your third person, you got to, I believe, get at gunpoint and arrest him. I think that might have been it. Maybe been another fourth person, something, something like that. But you actually have to arrest somebody. Listen, I went last on that too, and it's because my last name. That is torture to see everybody else go in front of you. Torture. And all my boys watching this. Brad was in the military, and he says, "Oh man, I, I, I mean, I was in the military, man. I've, I've done this several times." Brad. Bro got sprayed. Bro was over there. So that scared me. I'm like, bro said he's done this several times. And he's over there panicking. Like, it affected him really bad. So I was like, I know it's going to affect me really bad. I'm thinking like that. That's how I think. He's had it six times. It still affects him. I've had it zero times. This is going to affect me. And it did. We did it. They immediately rush you to the bathroom to wash it out. That does not help at all. Until you come back outside, get the air blowing on you, get some paper towel. Now, here's what helps. I'm going to tell you this, and it feels amazing. You get your wet paper towel and put that junk on your face. Oh, that helps. And it feels amazing. But here's a problem with those paper towels. They dry up. And they drop real fast. And then the torture starts back again. So it's like constant, like, all right, wet paper towel. Put that shit on your forehead. And you feeling like a 10 second relief. All right, wet paper towel. And it's like constant. You got to have that paper towel on. I tell you, it feels so good. It's relieving. I don't know what it is, that wet paper towel. It's relieving. But as soon as that paper towel gets dry, oh, man. Oh no, oh no. But at the end of all that, they're like, okay, yeah. <laughs> it's time to go home. How are we how y'all getting home? That should have been a little more thought out. Luckily, most of us are pretty up pretty good, like by at that point. So I drive home. And I'll say about an hour later, it just starts burning again out of nowhere. So I'm like rushing to the bathroom, wet my face again. That, of course, brings it back up. I go outside. I'm like, oh, my God. I go back inside. An hour later, it starts burning again. I'm like, what in the world is going on? Like, why is this reactivating by itself? But that's what it did. That's 100% what it did. And it's your entire face. And anywhere else you got sprayed at. Other body parts are starting to burn, too. It is not an experience I want again. So to answer your question, if I had to get tased or pepper spray, tase me. Lay me down. Put me on the ground. But please, Mr. Postman, don't pepper spray me.